Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program. Um, now, I thought I'd just kind of ask a question at the start of the program, kind of, um, obviously, kind of, uh, what would be your desert island wine? If you could only take one wine, unlimited quantities, and you could have a refrigerator if it's white or not, what would be your ideal wine? And, um, I'll tell you at the end of what mine is. Also, no one's, still no one's found the Domain Romney Conti 04 SSU, um, so that's still buried, although someone has been bloody close. Um, the next one is Squawking Magpie Hawks Bay 07 Chard Chardonnay, the Chatterer. Now, I'm not, I don't, I don't know whether you can see that, it's supposed to be the back of a Australasian Magpie's back, and do you know what? Not so keen on um, the label, but it does stand out and people do buy it and I have to just nip and get my spittoon, which I should probably do just there. And um, I get a bit of butter, um, a bit of lemony butter. Don't know whether you've um, made that kind of lemon sage kind of butter before. And pretty much that's all I'm getting. What I do get though is quite a bit of creaminess on the palate. There's quite a lot of upfront fruit, which is kind of like, you'd never believe it, like considering that when you smell it you get hardly anything. Then you get this kind of like lovely rich kind of creaminess in the mouth which is it's got quite a bit of acid there but well balanced and it does see um a bit of oak um a little bit of malo and for all those people Malo is malolactic fermentation which converts um, malic acid into uh, lactic acid so it makes it a bit more uh, creamy, a bit more smooth and this one has seen just a little bit and uh, yeah it's not a bad, I mean this comes in at about 20 bucks so I think that, that represents pretty good value for money anyway next one is the Gunner State Skeetfield Chardonnay. It's their black label. They do um, just this. And they do a white label as well. Celestra Sarah is the other one in the black label. Now, Gunner State 05 got four and a half stars Wine State Magazine and five stars Cuisine Magazine. So it's it's up there. What you get is you get a quite a nice uh, colour there. And. Um, a rich kind of golden colour and you get a I was going to use the term kind of 1980s style Chardonnay where you get butter and you get oak and you get citrus um, but it's actually quite an elegant nose uh, a lot more restrained than I initially thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a big kind of Hawke's Bay monster with a bit of oak and a hell of a lot of butter but um, I mean, all the fruits hand-picked. Comes off of their old, uh, in the Haiti um, Valley, it comes off their old, the gun family's shooting range, I guess, or where they used to do a bit of skeet shooting. Hence the name. And I'm quite glad that I've actually left this for kind of four years. When I first had it, well it must have been 07, it, it was quite a big monster. Now it's actually kind of uh, pulled its reins in a bit and it seems a bit more kind of together. You get that lovely citrus character and then you get a nice creaminess, butteriness there and you get a, a little hint of oak. 
and a tiny dash of stone fruit so it's not kind of overly tropical almost a bit of rosemary in there as well The Squawking Magpie 07 Chatterer Chardonnay, probably going to give it 85 points. It now just finishes a bit too short for me. And I don't know whether it's going through a lag phase. Some of the wines actually, they, they tend to kind of, when they're released, they're big and ballsy and then they kind of develop nicely. And then sometimes they can go through this little lag phase before they start kind of opening up again. And that may be where this sits at, or it may be that it's just fallen over slightly. And um, so I'm going to give that kind of 86, 87 points. Now my Desert Island wine, I mean it depends on your mood at the time, but it's going to be probably Hungarian Tokai. Um, it's quite a nice dry rich um, dessert wine. And I think you can use it in a multitude of ways, but um, you can drink it warm, you can have it cold. And I, I think that sometimes if you're on a desert island, you may feel a bit bit low, you know, so you get something a bit sweet out. It'd be nice. Anyway, until the next time, and um, hopefully we'll have an announcement that someone's uh, found the bottle of uh, DLC. Um, and I'll catch you later.